Hello YouTube and welcome to your fourth Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to get input from the user in the console so um, here I've already made a project with a class um, and I've already made my main method which you should be able to do by now um, so now to get user input um, we need to import something. So basically what this does is when you import something there's a bunch of things built into Java that you can use to make your life a lot easier like um, java.util.scanner which is what we're going to be using and basically what this does is it gets the text that the user types in and you have to write you, you barely have to write any code other than what you would if you had to do it all by yourself. So let's go ahead up at the top let's go to import java.util.scanner capital S and um, if any of you who are watching this are, are familiar with C++ this is just like pound include um, so you can use things that are built in um, so now what we're going to do inside of our main method we're going to go ahead and system.out.println what is your name Okay, so now that we've done that, um, we're going to go ahead and we have to create a new object so that we can use the method that's inside of um, the thing that we imported. Now, um, it's a little complicated, and for these really early tutorials, like this is tutorial number four, uh, I probably won't go into detail that much of um, objects that you have to create to use methods, but... Um, We'll go ahead and make one. So what you're going to do is type scanner and then whatever you want your scanner to be named. So scanner username equals new scanner system capitalize that system dot in. Okay. So basically what we did is we created a scanner and called it username. Um, and scanner is basically a method that we have taken out of java.util.scanner so that we can use it and to use that method we have to create an object of it so basically what this does is it asks what their name is and in the line underneath it whatever they type it in is going to be whatever they type in is going to be scored in the scored stored in the variable username so um just one more thing if you uh I may have done this in other tutorials, um, used the scanner, but uh, I'm just making this tutorial to clarify, clarify it a little bit more, and um, if you guys ever get stuck and you forget how to use the scanner, then you can just come right back to this tutorial. So, moving on. So now, uh, we just asked what, asked what their name is, created a new scanner object, and whatever they type in is going to be stored in the variable username. So now that's all you have to do to get um, whatever they type in so we'll go ahead and do system dot out dot print line hello and then okay so basically what this is going to do is it's just going to say hello and then whatever their name is with an exclamation point at the end um, you I think you'd be familiar with this I'm sorry I'm I just get confused with what I put in the tutorials and what I don't but you can you can put a string an absolute string which is not stored in any variable and then just use a plus sign and add a variable that you want to put in there and then um, add another plus sign and add another absolute string that you want to put in there and you can do that with as many absolute strings or variables that you want and so instead of just putting username right there we're just going to type username dot next line so basically what this does is it makes sure that it gets um, all of the text that the person typed in that line so you don't so you won't be missing something so let's go ahead and run this what is your name Sam it says hello Sam so um, 
I'm sorry if I, I messed up a couple times in this tutorial, had to restate some things, but um, just go ahead and look at this code, get used to it. It's really simple and it's something you're going to be using a lot in my tutorials. Um, and then once you have that down and um, you remember it, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.